Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whenever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. It is now crystal clear that the workers are on their own and France actually is no longer speaking for them. Instead, he has been hired by one William Samoy Ruto to speak on behalf of the government to defend the government. As we are talking now, the impunitive taxes and people taxes has become a big debate in this country. The housing is number one issue, where people are asking you people, for how long you will tax us about this issue of housing? And this debate is not ending. Trade unionists are now coming out and they are threatening to go for a strike. There are so many. We have your chama ya nurses, tuko na ile chama ya madaktari, tuko na chama ya walimu, tuko na chama ya wale wafanyakazi wa wa wa, wa, wa mandege. There are so many unions. They are going together and they are threatening to go for a strike because they are not ready to be taxed on housing. They are not ready to pay those increased taxes, pay as you earn. They are not ready to go in that direction. Because people are not sure if they will get houses. Some have no any interest in those houses. So as we are speaking now, when we say as soon, they will be on the street demonstrating about this impunity taxes. If you listen from the response to the response from Franza Tuoli, you see like the government spokesperson responding as if he's not one of them, as if his duty was not to defend them or to negotiate between them and the government. Let me read the response from Franza Tuoli on the position of those trade unionists. This is what he said. It is regrettable that a constitution right and the agreement between the government and the workers is politicized. Court would like to encourage the trade unionists who skipped Labor Day celebration and the meeting with the president to embrace social dialogue and stop politicizing serious matters. He continued, the government of Kenya has made it clear that they have already invested 5 billion shillings into the housing fund and those who contribute to the housing fund and later wish to withdraw their contribution will have access to their savings with the interest. You understand my dear poor. <laughs> How sure are you that when they are cutting you 3%, then you feel that you don't have any interest in the house. You will get your money. We are told like Sema Imaneno, Nakumbuka, how some Kenyans, when they go for retirement, it becomes another headache for getting there. Ile pesa na ito ya uzee. And as a safe money. It becomes also a fight. If that one has always been a problem, and that is someone's money, savings, that you know you are sure of you will get once you go for retirement. What about this one levy, this house levy? A twin is now twisting things that you can withdraw this money if you're not interested with the house. Okay, I'm not interested, then why should you cut me? Let there be willing people who need those houses to allow 3% levy from their salary. That should be the position. Kwa nini wewe unasukuma mtu mwenye hana haja na nyumba yako, hiyo yenye unajenga? First of all, you want to put it very high in price. Secondly, they don't know when it will be delivered. Number three, there is no even any agreement. Wanasema tuta tunaanza kata hiyo shuru. Haujui utakuwa ni wapi hiyo nyumba inajengwa. I told you should have come out clear on those questions. Lakini anasema, hii mambo yuko sawa msilete mambo ya siyasa na bitina kwa hii mambo. Ukitaka hiyo pesa yako, utaitisha, utapewa kama utaki nyumba. Right now, the only person that workers should focus on, eh, it should be Raila Odinga. Let them talk to Raila to stop that dialogue. And move 
in the line of demonstration so that they can stop these things. At one should have been calling for super massive demonstration stage managed by workers across the country to stop this levy. Instead, he is preaching William Ruto's gospel. This is unholy alliance. Workers cannot go in bed with the executive and expect to get justice. They are going to be milked dry. This is the response from Azimiel Omoja on that issue. I quote, We wish to make it clear from the, from the outset that as a party, we will try our best to ensure that this anti-people budget is not passed by the National Assembly. In the event that Kenya Kwanda uses its hired majority and pass the bill as it is, we want the people of Kenya to understand that it is Kenya Kwanda's bill. We will instruct our MPs to have not, nothing to do with it. What are they to mean? Their numbers to stop the bill. But again, they know William Ruto how he always act. He know he buy people. So he can buy members of parliament using your taxpayers' money. They will vote for that bill. Me, I can tell you, this bill will go to the parliament, it will pass. Ruto will buy people. Already I shall know what. So in Akuja, and that's why as me is talking about higher numbers, is going to higher numbers. So you can see the person who should be speaking on behalf of workers. Seemingly here look like Aila. So Aila is talking on behalf of workers and Kenyans. Atwoli is talking on behalf of government. Now you mutter pair of cars in a to katena. So Ruto Ametukua Atwoli and Mara Kongfuko. Those who still believe that Atwoli can speak on their behalf, defend their interest, forget. No. He has been hired. The same way Ruto is hiring members of parliament to vote on that bill. The same way Ruto has hired Atwoli. For the next five years, Atwoli will be singing the government song. His interest has been taken care of. Ruto Akunua Judiciary. Ruto wakununua chebukati, ruto wakununua bunge, sasa unyo ruto wakununua mkubwa wafanikazi Fransa tuoli. Trade unionists should come out and speak their mind, forget about Fransa tuoli, he will never defend you. We are going to this point in our discussion, but just a quick request, for those who are watching and you are not subscribed, please just consider subscribing to the Returning Supplies and Master. Thank you so much and again to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this Discussion. Ruto cannot fire everyone in this country. So you people, we can again give a person. And you should come out in your own tender unionist to speak your mind. Speak for yourself. Forget about France at all. So come on a panga mandaman. Pangen your mandaman and let it be successful. And we were saying here earlier that the best way to achieve anything in the mass action is when the middle class join. The middle class are those people who are employed. Those are people who have salary. Those people who have means of money. If you're not employed, then you're running serious business. If you put your hands together and Raila uh, Odinga be assured of your support, even financially, to stage manage a serious mass action in this country then this government will get the message because we have said here and it's very clear the only language they will understand mass action lakini hii mambo ingine yote itakuwa ni kelele Ruto has appetite to tax everyone he has appetite to tax anything but the only problem is that he will not be accountable for those taxes what I'm seeing here are employees whom William Ruto is strategically, strategically planning to dupe them. You will never see these houses. Mutaziona kwa vyo sasa. Izi nyumba. Mutaziona kwa TV ya mbao tu. Haki ya mungu wakuna nyumba hapa. 
Forget about the ana baada ya miaka 5 Ruto atakuwa president. Atatokuwa kwa sugoi. Sasa mtamuuliza saa ngapi hizo mambo? Na watakuwa wamekula hii pesa. Mambo ya nyumba haiko, mnadanganywa. So hiyo shughuli yenu ina hii inaenda. Aki hii inaenda mkiona. So it is better you stop focusing on atwali speak for your mind. Atwali is no longer working for you. He's no longer a defender of the workers. Let us meet in the comment section for continuation of this conversation. Thank you and see you in our next video.